that being said, we are, uh, I believe Ben is going to be fighting uh, Dripnotic in Loser Spins. And Raga is currently fighting SPZ in Loser Spins as well. But, that is in the past right now because we do have a more important set. Winners Finals. And right off the bat, before I can even update stuff, Good we are going to move and start this game one on PS2. Uh, Sora versus uh, Mean Brawler. What are your thoughts on this game? I think... I haven't seen a lot of this matchup, but I do think the floatiness does help Sora in this matchup. Uh, how so? I, it's harder. I think it's harder to predict the shot put setup for Barry, and it's a little bit harder to, to just to read stuff off stage. That's fair, but if you do that, yep. not SD. No, Sora has a lot of tools in that recovery to to get it really out of anywhere. Yeah, uh, I got a problem with Sora there, but. I mean, something that's kind of the opposite of Shulk. He does have less range, and he is a lot lighter. It is going to be very devastating. Uh, if it doesn't go... Uh, if Barry is going to get these conversions like we see just now, Ben already... Or not Ben. Ben and Red already on his final stock. Did I just see the kill screen? You did see the kill screen. He... I believe he... held towards the stage and did a good spot. That's crazy. He was at what eight? Yeah, eight, eight percent. Well, no, it was at zero before he hit the up. I would, I would have been a little bit frustrated. <laughs> but amazing DI from Super Bear gonna keep holding strong. Hit red getting hit by the shot put. Barry doing really well right now, avoiding any magic, magic that. To work for a while. Ooh, nice counter coming in. Uh, he is going to need this. And he's going to need these moves as well. He's in a very bad position right now against Barry. Anything that Barry can throw out will be the death of him. And we're going to see the down smash confirm that game one towards Super Barry. I just realized I mixed up the tags. Fine. Classic final destination music. Uh, are we gonna see? Yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna see. see we're gonna see him go to the puff after kind of a commanding game from Barry. Good day, game. Or, well, I mean, I totally understand. It was a pretty Barry. It was honestly kind of excited when it came. Um. But it looks like the puff is doing a little bit better. Uh, able to get a lot of these. Uh, able to just kind of get a lot of these stairs strings. Kind of rack up a lot of percent. The thing that puff is going to rely on now is seeing if Chaz can get a rest confirmed coming in against the Barry at the moment. Because right now, Barry can get a rest confirmed percent. And if we got Sora killed early, Puff's going to kill so Puff is going to die so much better. Oh my gosh! Amazing up I don't think no puff does not have enough jumps to make that back. Yeah, a lot of those jumps were being used to try to stage fight Super Barry, but with the tech and the upbeat, it actually killed Cannon Red instead. Uh, a simple back air could be able to take, uh, take it even once again. Maybe not at the other edge of the stage, but... Uh, it definitely isn't out for Chaz at the moment, especially with that air right there. And another hit. And a fair. Great ledge guarding there. Alright, 
we're seeing a little bit of these dreams right now. The rest is not going to be able to kill just yet. Barry's going to use this opportunity to get a free forward smash off. Able to close the percent, but that flower is racking up a lot of stuff right now. Really good spot that was super berry. Already you can you can see Puff was a good choice versus me brawler. Ooh, I really like the back air. He knew that uh he knew that the up beam was going to kill, but if he can get a hitbox out the board, uh it would go connect. It definitely would save him. And it definitely benefited in that. Uh, yeah. Definitely from that part of the stage, Meat Brawler is definitely limited on options to recover, so it, it was a little bit easier to find an option to punish that recovery. It's limiting, but also Chaz is playing it really smart. He's only narrowing when he knows that it's very safe. He's narrowing he's before a hitbox of the up, which is really nice to see. Um, we are going to take it to last dock, though. But Chaz is just gonna keep on popping out those uh, nares out of shield and hopefully trying to get this final blow so we can take it to a game on a 1 1 on the board. But Super Fairy is gonna keep on racking up that percent. And the shield break's gonna occur, and the board attack is gonna confirm that. Game two. Now, I think personally, I'm curious if we're going to see Chaz immediately go back to the sword or not. Just because, uh... Just because, does he want to treat this as a learning experience and beat the sword? Or is he going to go pop, get the lead, and then... It looks like we're going Sora for game three. You know what, that's understandable. I don't blame him there. We are going to go to F4. We'll see if... I think the key for him, for him where the win is, is if he can get, it, get enough loops and then try to really use magic on stage. I think that's the general key. I think the one thing that, at least in an advantage state, that you want to see as Sora against the Brawler is just taking a lot of his jump opportunities that the Brawler has. You can take away that flip kick, you can take away that jump, you can take away that axe kick. Uh, you're going to be in a really good position. At least in disadvantage, you're going to have a little bit of a harder time, but it's all going to be relying on avoiding those shot puts, avoiding being predictable, and just avoiding SD and going that low. Um, it's very scary. <laughs> but we're going to see a continuation of the noobs, not going to be able to continue it, but we are going to have an immediate lead from Cannon Red. Nice counter to keep. Sora alive there. Because the down air can propel to downstage much faster. And we're going to see the up air miss trying to get that early uh, early death. And the noobs are going to continue going on. Uh, Peter Berry going to take that first stock. I completely understand it uh, in that aspect. He really wants to get those throws at us, especially. The other important thing is having that Lizaga out just to kind of uh, propel uh, that early momentum that Sora has. The spells are really beneficial in that aspect. But speaking of momentum, very speaking up the pace, able to even up that percent and get be confirmed. Already getting a media lead. Good DI on, on the up there. Oh my gosh, that was a very scary uh, faint jump. Even just at a, uh, even at like 30%, it would have been scary. Oh, oh my gosh, Super Berry, amazing stuff. I loved that side being confirmed. I think he's gonna switch. I think he's gonna switch back to the puff. I think he's gonna switch to puff. I think we're gonna just gonna continue seeing a pattern of uh, Sora puff. It immediately back to FD. 
Yeah, I think. I mean, Chad doesn't really worry about the stage. I think what he's trying to worry about right now is learning matchups of both characters. Uh, he is doing something not really for the like security. But more to understand, like, okay, what do I need to do when we need all the matchup with Jigglypuff, and what do I need to do with this matchup as Sora? And if, it, if it's just focusing on the Sora, then using the Puff to extend uh, the time that he, extend the amount of games that he can play as Sora. Not going to be able to get the Jab Block or the Dash Attack. We'll get shield from Super Mario over the same. Rollout is not going to kill, but is still very funny. Rollout not with a bunch of kill power, but it, it is a, an interesting tool that Puff has. It's a really funny mix of it, especially at the very end where you don't know if you can do it. When we talked to four times, I think on average, with a like fully charged, you can turn, you can turn around like four times. Uh, it's a weird. Yeah, fully charged, and you're only going to see the single turn, but it is going to kill. Shad's really messed up there. That was a really good situation for Superberry. Well, the aspect of Shaz went all the way down to convert that kill. Barry was already dead. Shaz didn't have enough to get back. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, it could cost him the set right there. Um, but he is going to start getting some funny uh, comps coming in. Hopefully, to get a rest off. But. We are at an interesting position for Puff that we could see a death soon. Really good call up all these tech rules from Cannon Red. Yeah, Chaz is just going deep, trying to get those bullet frames. It's one of the things that I don't necessarily agree with, I think, that. I know Puff can make it back, but at least in a scenario where you're down a game, you kind of want to play a little bit more respectful. Because stuff like that's going to happen with SD was a crucial matter. Super Rare is going to take it 3-1 over Cannon Red, putting Barry on the top end of Grand Finals. Barry just blazing through top A right now. Yeah, 3-1s on both Ben and Cannon Red, and we 